object, a simple old school, but floating in the air in the middle of the forest. The school is made of red cedar made darker by aging. Under the school you can only see a mirror image of a red cedar wall. Legend said if it is seen near a city, in one month this will become a ghost city. For those in the know, all Quebec ghost city are the result of a graduation and class entry. Every three years each, magic is only obtained the third year. The first year is science, the second is art, and the third year, you learn to mix the two. Let's talk about the founder, according to Wikipedia, Marie Joseph Carrivo, 1733 at St. Valier, Quebec. April 18, 1763 at Quebec City, better known as La Carivo, is a well-known figure in Québécois folklore. She lived in New France and was sentenced to death by a British court-martial for the murder of her second husband, was hanged for it and her body hanged in chains. Her story has become a legend in Quebec, and she is the subject of many books and plays. She is also known for killing one of her husbands with molten lead in the right ear. She was sentenced by a British court to be put in a cage at a crossroad in Quebec City. However, one night, her cage simply disappeared in a date that coincided with a full moon. Many said having seen werewolf around her cage courting her and dancing with her. As this drawing show, first thing to know, there is still people with the name Carivo. I know personally two that are living in two different cities. One is in Montreal, one is a close friend of mine. There is power in names. Mine is a secret except for other magicians. And any good magicians have many. See, when you take any name you choose something that will give away your banner. Your message to the world. 